Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. My sweet Scorps, here's the deal, ma'am. I am going to act as a channel between you and the divine, you and the universe even, and find out what you need to know. So I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna find out what you need to know. Could be many different things that has been so far this week. Um, yeah, so you know what, it's general, it may or may not resonate, if it does resonate, and you are drawn to it, there is an extended. The link to that is at the top of the description within this video. Oh, <laughs> noticing the blanket that I have over. It's like a little face with like two eyes and like a little nose mouth. Like, <sighs> that's kind of freaky. I just hung that up. It looks like a little face. <laughs> oh well, there you go. <laughs> Weird things going on in the background of the video. All right, Scorpio. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I just pulled it out. I wasn't even thinking, so I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my Dark Goddess deck. That sounds very Scorpio-like. My gar Dark Goddess deck. I'm going to start with that, and then we'll pull out a tarot deck. Ah, yeah. so check it. I just did, um, I'm not getting one for you, I'm sorry. I'm not getting a channeled song for you. But I got a channeled song for Libra when I did their, just before I did their video. It's a song I haven't heard in the longest time. And it was um, Send in the Clowns. And I was hearing Barbara Streisand's version of it. And so um, my friend Russell from Wrestling Around, um, I sent him a message. He told him that a funny song. That I had in there. It was an interesting video. And he said, Oh, yeah. And so apparently, the writer of the song just died five days ago. <laughs> like, oh my God. That is so weird. What are the chances of that? So I don't know. So I was thinking, instead of that movie, I see dead people, it should be, I hear dead people. <laughs> so let me see what I can pull out for you, Scorpio. I hear dead people. What do you need to know? What does Scorpio need to know above all else right now? Above all else, what does Scorpio need to know? Trickery? What is going on with the trickery shit? Who else? Leo had trickery yesterday. This is a big deck. I shuffled it. Judgment. Wrath. Denial. Wow, somebody's going to be dead. All right, then. Somebody, it just looks like with these cards, I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but there's some sort of trickery going on here. I just want to stop the video and start again. What is this? It feels like, like, this is the exact card I pulled out for Leo. So I don't know. You've got someone doing some trickery, but whatever's going on here, if you're doing the trickery, I'm hearing hi hickory trickery dock. The mouse went, ran up the clock. The clock strike, struck 12. The mouse ran down. Hickory trickery dog. Oh, it's weird. Maybe it has something to do with 12 o'clock. That is weird. No, it wasn't. Because the Virgo reading was um, the 11th hour. The, the, the last mile. The final mile of the 11th hour. There's a lot of synchronicities in this reading. Hickory trickery dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck 12. The mouse ran down. Hickory trickery dock. Judgment, wrath, and denial. Either you or somebody around you is engaging in some sort of trickery. And this trickery is not unseen by the universe and the wrath of God will open upon them and they are in complete denial about it. What the hell kind of reading are you get? The camera looks kind of crooked here. There's a little screw on my, a little bolt on my um, tripod that I lost a long time ago in a galaxy far away. So to keep it level, I have like a needable eraser. <laughs> it works great. Actually, it works really good. Okay. All right. Let's get into this. Tarot positive clarity. No, 
you're right. I'm seeing, no, this is the dark, I'm just, the, the dark side of this. Um, the dark side of some sort of trickery. I don't know what the hell. I don't know who you guys are involved with sometimes, but, you know, that was funny. I was just scrolling, scrolling through my YouTube as some stuff was transferring to my computer to edit. And I, caught, I came across a couple of other YouTubers. I'd never seen them before. And the reading, one of them was um, something to do with the karma being produced by your enemies. And I just thought to myself, who wants enemies? Why does anybody watch this? And I was getting like this. I guess it exists, right? Like it exists. And I asked what y'all need to know beyond everything else right now. So. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's pulling the wool over your eyes or think they are. They can't, judgment will be cast upon them. The wrath of God, will, they're in denial about that. Where's this channel going, guys? I don't know, but those are the cards, huh? Those are the cards. Hickory trickery dog. Your boss is lying to you. <laughs> I don't know. I know you got the Ten of Wands, the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles. And then the Two of Pentacles. I do believe the Two of Pentacles was at the bottom for Leo, who pulled out the same trickery card. Maybe go and watch that. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I don't know. Maybe someone's here, or this group of people who have, like, either you're dealing with a Leo. Or um, you have yourself a strong Leo placement here because there's a weird thing going on with your reading and Leo and Virgo. And the only thing that's similar with Virgo is that I'm hearing that song and it's reminding me of like the 12th hour. So I looked it up because for them it was um, the 11th hour. So the 11th hour is biblical. It's where it originated and which is kind of interesting because we have an Egyptian here and then we have like someone who's Oh, God, what an interesting combination. Because it looks like she's come out of, a, out of a tomb, like a ghost, and it, she's producing a storm and a hurricane. It's, it's reminding me of, you know, like the curses with the Egyptian pharaohs? Like, don't go into their tombs. The wrath of God will come upon you. You will be cursed. <laughs> so... The biblical, what I was saying there was, so if you showed up for a 12 hour shift or the shift ended at 12, I don't know if it was a 12 hour shift. It was Matthew something or other in the Bible. And it was, um, if you showed up at 11 o'clock and the shift ended at 12, you actually got paid for the full shift. So there's some benefit, like that's what's coming up here. And I'm hearing something like something is going to be corrected in your life with some sort of trickery. What's really strange is that these cards here, these tarot cards about the trickery, they don't feel misleading or devilish in any way, but the underlying is really heavy. So I don't know if there's um, a consequence, a very heavy consequence regarding something in your life or someone's life that has to be considered. Judgment and the wrath is, that literally looks like, like going in, going in against what the words of God has stated you should do, or the Pharaoh, they saw themselves as gods. All right, sure you can be, it's okay, I won't deny you. Just getting like this evil look. From, who is this? Guabinus. I don't know these goddesses. Worth looking her up, man. I don't know. And Matt, Matt, Matt? Matt? 
I'm gonna go right, I'm, I gotta tell you, I gotta go right to this underline. Oh, Scorpio. Holy shit. Okay. I, I'm getting the message. I don't know, there's something going on with your boss or somebody who has some sort of authority in your life somewhere. I don't know if you're <laughs> either intentionally or Unintent I think it could be unintentional because you have denial. What's coming in under denial is seduction and appearance with Medusa. Now we all know what happens if you look at Medusa. Oh my goodness. You are like a storm of seduction. You are like a storm of seduction. And I think you're in complete denial about it. <laughs> if not complete, or you're in denial about how you affect someone around you. Are you unintentionally seducing someone? What is going on? What is going on, Scorpio? I don't know. I never walked into a reading quite like this. Oh, we need a whole different tarot deck just for your underlying. Mm -hmm. Because looking at Medusa will cause someone to turn into stone, right? That feels like being cursed. And you have seduction here and denial. God. Someone's trying to stay on the straight and narrow path here. <laughs> There's someone around you trying to stay on a straight and narrow path. And I feel like you're just typical Scorpio, being very seductive, but not even knowing it. You're not even trying. I don't feel like it, because you're in denial. You're doing your warrior thing. Judgment, the Ten of Cups. Wrath, the King of Swords. Denial, the Eight of Cups. <laughs> yeah. Seduction, justice. Oh my God, but it's like, it's not the best kind of justice. Cause look at, the dude drank the elixir and he's dying. <laughs> There's something about you, Scorpio. That someone feels like they're selling their soul to the devil. <laughs> they go. <gasps> Appearance, the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're like a forbidden fruit. <laughs> you are some kind of forbidden fruit to someone. There could be legal ramifications with the king of swords, with the wrath. Judgment, the Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. Are you seducing married people and you don't even know it? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> this is such a burden. I feel like too, for some people, like going, the, the Ten of Wands, they just, it almost like they're not even looking forward to going home on some level. All right, Scorpio, oh, Six of Swords, the Star, Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Oh, there's so much in the underline, it's so overwhelming. We have so many cards here. Okay, Scorpio, I don't think you are aware of your seductive capabilities. I don't. I really feel like there's something going on around you right now. For someone, it could be someone in authority with the emperor. And then you have the three of pentacles. It could be your college professor with the three of pentacles. It could be someone you work with. This is a heavy burden. And on some level though, I feel like it 
it's a heavy burden at work. This this energy is just like, oh, I think it wants you so bad, Scorpio, that it, it just doesn't know what to do with itself. But the ramifications of it are just, can't go there. My soul, not only my soul, but my legal rights will be, the wrath will be opened upon me. And your denial. You're like, like, I don't know. You're almost like Mulan. I, I know it's not Mulan. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not familiar with all these goddesses. Nuba. Nuba or Nuba? Nuba. I think it would be Nuba. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, and you're at Eight of Cups. You're just walking around <laughs> almost oblivious to the 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 path of heartbreak that you leave behind you and look at you like look at this you are like i don't know where you are you are just like this the poison that that everyone or someone craves but the justice here won't be good like this feels like the um the forbidden fruit because then with your appearance with Medusa, it's the Five of Pentacles. Look at she's behind barbed wire. The forbidden fruit. I ain't making no shit up. I'm telling you, you're the forbidden fruit. Where's my channel going? I don't know. Where's it going? I say, okay, either like with the Ten of Cups here for judgment, either this person or these people, however, I don't know how many you're affecting here. They're, they're already in like a happy relationship, but I don't know what they get off of you is like nothing that they, they've seen or felt or experienced before. Um, and wrath, right? The King of Swords, it's like a lawyer. <laughs> so we can't go there. Um, and, but then the other part is, I feel like you're this person's like wish fulfillment with the 10 of cups. Like the judgment, like something that's come in. And it could still actually sit as both versions together. The Ten of Wands, you are something. Yeah, you are trickery because you look like the tower. Oh my God. I almost, okay, I almost feel like whatever it is about you, um... People see things about themselves that they never thought they could see before. And they imagine experiencing things that they never thought could be experienced before. And this becomes like a heavy burden because uh, the life they had is like, it's like without salt, it's without sugar, it's without spice, it's without savory. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm coming into your energy. You know what? I can do this for you because my Lilith is in Scorpio. <laughs> so look at you sit there like you think you're <laughs> it's so naughty. You're tricking. You're tricking. You're naughty, naughty boys and girls, Scorpio. The Emperor. But I would say you are naughty with a dash of nice. That's what makes you so intriguing. I love it. <laughs> it's great. Y'all can be possessive though. My Aries couldn't handle that. <laughs> The Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. Oh, the Emperor. Well, look at this. Okay, this Emperor energy is looking for some sort of a new beginning, or one is on the horizon for them or something. Going from the King of Swords, which is very analytical, a professional, um, the straight and narrow, honey, the straight and narrow, to the King of Wands, letting the fire out. <laughs> Let the fire out. Holy shit. There's going to be a lot of fire if this happens. Who's tricking who here? Huh? Who's tricking who, Scorpio? The Three of Pentacles. Maybe somebody is yanking your chain. I tell you, if somebody's yanking your chain, it's only because you've tugged them in spots they've never been tugged before. The Three of Pentacles, the Death card, the Five of Swords, and the High Priestess. Wow. I don't know. Maybe this person is married to their work. 
it just feels like you're a forbidden fruit. I don't know why you're forbidden fruit. I wonder how to get a waist like she has. <laughs> the, the hips. Anyway, so you are the forbidden fruit. So you're already pulling me. I'm like, oh man, how do you look like that? How do you do that? How is that possible? <laughs> it's poison. It's almost debilitating. <laughs> you are just something Scorpio. You are a debilitating forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. Judgment in the Ten of Cups. This could go back to Egyptian times where you've just been always pulling on this person's weakest points. Oh, the Six of Cups. The Moon. <laughs> it almost feels unknown how to get to you because you're so forbidden. You're like the energy of, I see, um, I'm just going to use a masculine energy to describe this because masculines are typically, you know, very controlled with their emotions or they're really good at it. They learn at a young age to control their emotions and their feelings and to be poker faces. Um, generalizing, sorry. So it's almost like someone who's like, it could be a lawyer, it could be a doctor, it could be um, a professor, it could be someone who's like, the straight and narrow, the straight and narrow, they show up to work in their suit, their tie, and then you walk in. And it's like a distraction at first. And then it becomes an obsession. And then they lose their mind. <laughs> they just like show up to work and they pull their clothes off and they run crazy in the field looking for you. Like, it's just weird. It's a weird energy. <laughs> so, wrath, the king of swords. What is this wrath? Oh, the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's no way forward right now. I don't know what this is over here going on. There's definitely some sort of a new beginning. For this person anyways. But then something, it feels like something ends for them at work. Or where they collaborate with people. Denial and the Eight of Cups. This is where we're talking, I feel like, about you. Oh, the lovers and the Page of Wands. You're just so sweet about it, aren't you? Like, the lovers, like, that's just, you know, it's very sexy. There's a volcano between the two of them. But then we have the Page of Wands. It's like, hi. You really, I don't think you have a clue about this. Because look at her. She's just, like, living her little fantasy life. I'm walking away from dreams that haven't come true. I don't know. But they're, they're showing up like a warrior, a, a, like a tough, tough warrior. I really don't think you're fully aware of the path of destruction that you leave behind. Seduction and justice. Seduction and justice. Oh, look. The Five of Cups into the Ace of Cups. Mm, you are like the bait that goes into the water pulling in like for a fisherman who hasn't caught anything in a long time and then holy bejeebers <laughs> catches a mermaid like wow appearance and the five of pentacles appear in the... <laughs> four of wands and the three of wands they're just waiting to put a ring on it i don't know how you feel about that because you seem like very in your own place here It, it, do you know what that is? Like with Medusa and the Five of Pentacles, like this is a forbidden fruit. This is almost like you have the energy to lock down perhaps individuals that would never be locked down before. But I think part of it is because you don't even want to be locked down. At least not in, I don't know, not necessarily not in a deep spiritual connection with, you know, you have the Ace of Cups. I don't know. This is very empowered. Well, it is the dark goddess, so. Yeah, I don't know what to say anymore, <laughs> Scorpio. Well, you have justice at the bottom. I don't know. I guess, I'm. you know, some of these readings, it kind of makes sense. But are people really living lives like this? You guys really living lives like this? I am Scorpio. If anybody is, it's probably you. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go do the extended. 
I don't need to understand your life. I can just like kind of watch it and go, wow, look at you. Go to the extended and see what the hell comes out over there. Until next time, you sexy thing. <laughs> Be gentle with yourselves. Bye.